welcome to our next Dermalux Academy webinar, where today we're going to be discussing integrating Dermalux for best practice. So for those of you who are new to the Dermalux Academy or who have missed any of our previous webinars, they're all available to watch on our YouTube channel. So I'm Louise Taylor from Dermalux and joining me today is our very special guest, Vanessa Brown, who's Managing Director of the award-winning VL Aesthetics up in Carlisle. So Vanessa and her team run a fantastic clinic. They have a TriWave MD and they have a Flex MD, and we're going to be talking about that in a little while. Um, but we've got so much content to share with you that we've decided to extend this over a three-part series. So over the next three weeks, we're going to be discussing why Dermalux is a must-have treatment for any skin clinic, but really focusing on how we can successfully integrate it for um, client treatment programs, for obviously best, best results, and also the commercial aspects too. So um, as always, we've had lots of questions, so thank you for sending those in. Um, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to put them in the chat and we're gonna try and answer as many of those as possible. So I'm now gonna hand over to Vanessa and uh, let her introduce herself. So hi, Vanessa, thank you for joining us. Hi, thanks, Louise. So it's so nice obviously, to see so many people on the webinar today and I can kind of share how we integrate Dermalux into our clinic. So, yeah, so I'm Vanessa. I run a clinic in Carlisle, Cumbria, so north of England, for those of you who don't know where Carlisle is. Um, we are a face, body and laser clinic. So we our kind of ethos is always to deliver the best possible quality of results to our clients, um, which is why we always want to have the best pieces of kit within the clinic. Um, so obviously it's no surprise that we've got Dermalux as part of that kind of army of kind of tools which we have. Um, and yeah, it just it provides kind of phenomenal results for our clients. And yeah, if, if you've obviously got any questions, just feel free to kind of put them and Louise can kind of ask me them and I can kind of give you my, my kind of advice. Perfect. And you had, so it was, was it last September you introduced the TriWave MD? Yeah, so it was last September. Um, the reason why kind of we introduced it, we did have LED in the clinic beforehand. We had the Desi mask, um, which was fine, no problem whatsoever, but we didn't really integrate LED as much as we do now with the, with the Desi mask. Um, and then obviously COVID happened, the big pandemic happened March last year. Um, and obviously during our period of home stay, I was thinking of ways of how to get the clinic back to the same level as it was pre-COVID times, which was obviously quite a bit of a stress considering we couldn't really get back to doing face treatments for quite some time. Um, and any of these kind of masks that you apply to the skin, I mean, my biggest thing was I had to discontinue that service the reason why is for cross-contamination and infection control mainly. Nobody these days wants to put a mask on that somebody else has breathed in or even just had contact with their skin. So that's when obviously I started looking into Dermalux because it's a no contact treatment. Um, I did a really big push in September after kind of we had um, the Dermalux training mm -hmm. and with the TriWave, I managed to get about over a hundred people booked in within the first two weeks wow. because I pushed this no contact treatment and everybody was all about right that's great because I mean look our our kind of what perception of things have massively changed throughout this pandemic so we want that no contact service so that's obviously how my journey with Dermalux really began brilliant okay so sort of obviously you'd had led before but why and obviously you you're integrating in different ways and we're going to have a look at that but why did you want to introduce led and it, what sort of made you think about led in the first place in the clinic because it's so safe, it's so effective, you literally can treat any skin condition that you can imagine with it. Um, so it's a no brainer really, you know, if, if I was going back to when I first started the clinic over four years ago now, if I had to kind of pick one device, it would definitely have to be LED. The reason being is you can do so many things that are so result driven with the one device. Um, obviously we use lasers in the clinic, we use chemical peels, needling, all of these things do carry an element of risk to them. Um, so if you are kind of ever unsure, I always say, if you're unsure about what treatment to do, do Dermalux because it's probably the most safest treatment you could possibly do. And it's so, so effective, especially with the TriWave, people see such instant results, even after just one session, and um, they notice a big, big difference. Yeah, we've had quite a lot of feedback on that. I suppose, you know, it's it's just looking at the different specifications of the device, but um, we're actually doing a, a case study ourselves at the moment. And, you know, one session and you just see that, 
you know that that sort of wow factor and it's it's great yeah. but do you in the clinic then do you tend to do you see a lot of problem skin conditions or yeah, yeah we treat we treat a lot of acne we treat a lot of rosacea um acne has become quite a common skin condition even more so um with obviously wearing a mask so I see a lot of nurses coming in who um, obviously have to wear PPE for 12 hour shifts a day. They can't take it off. Their skin is really, really affected. And obviously we know if we don't have good skin, that massively affects how we feel about ourselves. Um, so yeah, we treat a lot of acne. Where we are up north as well, um, it's quite an outdoor culture. So we've got a lot of farms, a lot of fields and, and whatnot. Um, so people are outdoors quite a lot. So they do develop rosacea prone skin, veins, that kind of thing. So the Dermalux massively, massively helps to calm the redness. Um, I, well, well, we'll kind of go on to this. I quite often, if I'm just treating acne or if I'm just treating rosacea, I'll start them with kind of skincare initially and then I'll do Dermalux and then I'll look even if I need to do peels. Sometimes it's not even necessary. Yeah, so it's just how it's integrated into that. Yeah, and I suppose the niche with LED, you know, we're saying, well, why is it a must have treatment? But like you said, it's, it's, it's the high safety profile of it. And I think it's actually promoting this. Um, and I know we've touched on this with a lot of, you know, in some of our previous webinars, but you know, here we're, we're, we're selling a result. So you've got a client that comes through the door, you know, that, you know, you've got the tools there. So you're at your, they're coming to you because they want a result. Yeah. You know, so you're looking at the best possible solution, you know, whether that's that combination of treatments or yeah, yeah or, or what, yeah. you know, or how that's kind of into yeah. I don't really kind of like to promote one device or one machine or anything like that. It's basically like if you've got acne, this is the solution. And then obviously my internal protocols will include multiple different steps, you know, because at the end of the day, people are coming to you because you're a professional. You know what you're doing. All they want is their problem fixed. They don't really care how you do it. I mean, obviously, you'll get some clients that want to know the ins and outs of things. But the majority of people literally just want the problem fixed. And obviously, when you've got different tools at your disposal, you're able to just utilize them all and combine them to get them a quick result, a long lasting result and an effective result. Yeah, brilliant. So one of the questions that I wanted to put to you, obviously, with choosing the MD, you know, we've got yeah. four devices in the range and you've got the, the Triwave MD and also you've got the Flex as well. But so, you know, how to, you know, you had you had the pick and you, yeah. you picked two, but um, why the Triwave MD? I mean, what we've I mean, actually got, so we've got it here. Yeah, we've got it there. Put it on. It's, it's, it's too, it was too bright. So. Yeah, I know you could sit, obviously, talk. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I suppose what, what um, drove you to that? Or why, why do you select that as I mean it's our it's our hero sort of device but why do you select it it's literally the most powerful led device that there is on the market I mean if you look at other devices by comparison they literally don't even fall within the same category so again going back to the fact that we're a clinic we're, we're quite a, a well-known clinic and we want to provide the best possible results and the only way to provide the best possible results is by having the best possible equipment behind you in order to do that and um, you know people know if you've purchased a device for like 500 pounds there's a big big difference in terms of what kind of clinical outcome you are going to get for that client and um, um, and as well with the tri-wave, obviously, you know, compared to the flex, shortens the treatment time down because it's so much more powerful. And also there's the fact that um, less sessions are required. Yeah. So definitely. it's less, less time within the clinic. And people want quick results these days. They want to see results yesterday. Um, you know, they, they don't want to wait six weeks for a result. So, you know, I, I've seen results after one session, three sessions, dramatic results. Um, and I think from, from a business point of view, when you're, giving your clients them results, they want to come back to you because they develop that element of trust with you. Um, so, so you really need to invest in the best possible kit to get the best possible results. Yeah, I think it's, I suppose we're very fortunate within the range, you know, in terms of how we've developed, um, you know, that and, and, and have a choice for people. So of course, you know, it just depends on people's business situations and everything but you know even starting at the flex and then you know that opportunity to upgrade through um but so with your flex that you've got as well so I think you mentioned to me you'd been renting that out yeah, yeah. yeah. during the period of obviously this this new lockdown in the UK um I've been renting it out I've rented it out to a specific client um who went she suffers with acne we've treated her for the last probably with COVID maybe the last 12 months or so and she moved away for university 
so obviously she she couldn't come into the clinic every couple of weeks or every four weeks for a treatment so um i rented her the flex out and it's managed to keep her skin at bay completely so she's had no new breakouts or anything like that and she pretty much uses it every day um, and it's made a dramatic improvement and it's allowed her to maintain her results so i think um the great thing about the flex is obviously now during this period of lockdown it's extra revenue for your clinic which is fantastic um, but also, even let's say when the clinic is up and running, even if you had a few flexes, you could rent them out to people that cannot get into the clinic, you know, twice a week or anything like that. And they'll still get a really good um, clinical endpoint. Um, and you can even combine that with the right type of skincare. So that's like a, another treatment package that you may have lost that client because, you you, you know, what, what if you can't fit them in, for example, or what if they physically can't come in? So, you know, it's just an extra tool that you kind of do in offsite, really. Yeah, definitely. I think the success with LED, and it's always a challenge, you know, getting people to come in frequently, depending, you know, particularly if you're busy. I know now, you know, now we've got to have longer periods in between clients coming coming in because of cleaning and etc. So it's it can be a challenge. So if somebody needs that intensive course of treatment, the Flex offers a perfect opportunity if you're able to rent it out that they can do an intensive course at home, but not taking away from what the the tribe of MDs or the you know or the the in clinic device is actually going to do for yeah. you i think there was a question about what um i don't know what you could what can we do with the flex uh, as opposed to the md so um i'll just from a just on a, a clinical point so um all of our devices have the same wavelength so the wavelength is really important because it determines what we can treat and how successfully i know we've we've talked about this quite a lot um the difference between them is the power so like you said i suppose from a from a clinic point of view it's you know it's results but it's also commercial so shorter treatment times less treatments faster results um, yeah, and I suppose the application of that. Yeah. Uh, do you find that do you use the Trowave MD on the body much or? Yeah. Um, I use it actually on my dad quite a bit because he's developed quite a bit of pain in his shoulders. So I use it from a pain point of view. Um, actually, we're just in the process of developing a pain relief management um, kind of protocol within the clinic to treat pain. Um, so the the triwave is going to be a big integral part of that protocol. Um, back acne, treat it for that as well. Um, the great thing about the tri-wave is obviously you can treat every single area on the body as well. So it's not just for the face. Um, and that was another big selling point about the tri-wave as opposed to the previous LED mask, which I had, which was just limited to the face alone. Um, obviously with the tri-wave, you can treat psoriasis, eczema, any kind of, you know, burn or anything like that. It helps massively um, to speed up recovery time and it actually helps to sort the problem out. So yeah, I do, I do utilize it for the face and the body as well. Which, yeah, I suppose we, you know, we, the face is going to be sort of the big area that we treat, but, you know, body and it has its place and often people can get, you know, problem conditions on the body, you know, psoriasis is a really big problem and, you know, it can be difficult to treat, but having a tool, at least that you can, you can offer that service to clients is, yeah, it's yeah. obviously really important and, and extends the range of options that we, yeah, of, that we can offer to our clients as well. So, exactly. OK, so um, sort of integrating it then into into, you know, we, we've talked about sort of the different options. So let's say I'm a, I'm a client, I'm coming to see you for the first time, um, you know, you know skin care, of course, is important. But would you how do you integrate them? Like, sin? is it something that you sort of that people would get put on at, right at the beginning of their journey yeah. with you or? Yeah, always at the right, always at the beginning. So let's say you get someone in for a consultation, um, get them on skincare, which is first. That's the first thing that you should do. And the reason being, you need to feed that person's skin properly. Doesn't matter what you do from a clinical point of view, if that person's doing nothing at home, they're wasting your time and you're wasting your, your own time pretty much. So it always has to be backed up with what you do at home. Um, then the step after that, I always integrate Dermalux. So sometimes I'll do it as a standalone treatment. So with the Triwave, I'll do a 20 minute session, obviously for a period of 10 sessions. Or what I'll do quite often, if I'm doing things like needling, I will automatically include the Triwave um, as a 10 minute kind of um, add on type thing into that treatment protocol so essentially the client doesn't really have a choice so again going back to what we said about this is your clinic's protocol and this is what you're going to use the client just wants to know um how you're going to fix the problem for yes, them they the what they're interested in the end result yeah, yeah. that's exactly but i literally i i can't really think of many treatments where we don't use the dermalux for the face 
Um, I, I literally can't think of any, to be perfectly honest, because it is integrated. I mean, obviously, there's some that we would we would do it before appeal, for example, as opposed to after appeal, things like that. But I literally do it with everything. Um, because one, it accelerates the results, it reduces any downtime, um, it heals the skin so much quicker, and it gives them a much better result, um, which is why I literally do it every single step of the way, whether I'm treating acne, rosacea, pigmentation, aging, I literally use the Dermalox on everybody pretty much. So would you think of it, um, and this is something that we try and sort of uh, like a sort of our ethos behind it, you, you know, it's very much about, it's a foundation treatment. It's it's something which should be like a core for everybody because okay. it, it fits into that um, whole skin health sort of regime. So, okay. you know, if people are having, so would you say people are coming, even if they're on, you know, combination packages, do you encourage them to come back in for treatments in between? Yeah, definitely. Um, so if, for example, I've got somebody on a needling package, for example, if I'm doing one needling treatment every four weeks, try to get them in at the two week interval. Um, I do it at the two week interval, so they've got a chance really to use their actives at home. You want them using their retinols at home um, and you don't want to do anything that, which would cause photosensitivity, obviously, on the skin. So if I've got someone in for needling at a two week point after that, I'll do a Dermalux, then I'll do a needling with LED combined um, kind of two weeks after that. And I run in that cycle constantly. Um, same with if I'm doing a peel, I'll do a peel, then two weeks later, a Dermalux and then obviously another peel after that. Um, so I literally just, I like to integrate it kind of each step of the way, but then also like people do think they're getting value for money. You know, if, if they're coming in and getting two treatments in a month, as opposed to just one treatment. So from a business point of view, you're giving your client value for money pretty much when obviously it doesn't really cost you much to, to run the LED device. So you're, are you, so how do you promote it? Is it a package? So let's say, um, you know, it's a, is it a peel and a Dermalux together or do you put a bespoke package together yeah. for people? Yeah, yeah so it depends always on... a bespoke package, yeah. yeah. So say um, we get an inquiry for acne. Okay, that's great. Obviously you, you track through medical history, what they've had in the past, et cetera, et cetera. Then I'll say, great, this is our protocol for acne. Um, you know, I need you to come in every two weeks. This is what you can kind of expect to happen each session. Um, and that, that's all I do. If they want to know more, you know, I'll say, great, what we're going to do, we're going to use, like, I don't know, like, let's say, we're going to do an Illumiere peel and we're going to do the Dermalux. What it is, it's LED light therapy. And what this peel is going to do is kind of X, Y, and Z. Yes. And, and we'll do it that way. Um, I do actually promote the Dermalux as a standalone treatment as well. Um, because I think it's a really low entry point in terms of a price point of view for people. You know, sometimes you could be doing peels that will range between 90 to 300 pounds, same with needling. So if you think if you're if you're a business and you've got a new client coming in, they, they don't want that element of risk. They don't want to spend a high, high amount of money on their very first visit because they don't know what to expect from you. They don't know whether you're good. They don't know if they'll like it ultimately. Okay. So I always think that the Dermalux is a great entry point treatment. So, you know, if you've got a new client, it's a relatively low amount of money that they need to spend for their first treatment. They get to know you, they get to know the therapist, they get to know what you can do to help their skin. Um, so you've got different ways of how to do it, either attract new clients with it by maybe doing an introductory offer, which is what I do. Um, then the second thing would be, obviously, if you've got someone with problematic skin, it needs to be an integral part of the, the protocol for that type of skin. Um, because honestly, once once you start doing that, you, your results, you, you they're going to come so much quicker. People will gain trust with you quicker um, and you'll just get a better outcome for you, for your client and patient. I think, yeah, I think having it particularly for new clients. So if you've got somebody who you don't really know their skin, you don't know how they're going to respond. Obviously, you might be putting them on, let's say, more active products than they've been used to. So actually getting the skin into a strong, you know, um, optimized condition. And then before going on to something a little bit more invasive. So it, right. it's like it's, it, it creates that journey for them, that you know, on an ongoing. And you'll also be surprised, like if you, you if you do that and you get them, let's say even just doing five Dermalux sessions or something like that, they'll start to notice improvement after session two, session three. So yeah. you'll probably have to tweak what you were planning to do with them anyways. You know, if you're doing things like scarring. And there's still redness there, you know, like acne scarring and there's still redness there. The Dermalux will take that redness away really effectively. But then when you combine that with microneedling, I mean, you probably only need really between three to six sessions, depending on on how deep, deep the scarring actually is. And then as a great maintenance, you've got the Dermalux. So, you know. 
Yeah, and so in are you, do you have a set number of treatments in a package, or do you find that you're do you, is it quite bespoke as well? Yeah, I mean, I always go if let's say if I'm doing Dermalux standalone, I'll do about ten sessions. If it's acne, it's twice a week as a protocol. If it's aging, once a week is fine. Um, I, I don't like to sell packages like a, a set number of packages. The reason why is because you want that repeat business coming in on a monthly basis. So if you're able to do a monthly program for someone, you're guaranteed obviously their income coming in on, on a monthly basis as opposed to saying, right, that's your finished package of 10, see you later. You know, yeah. you want something, you want like an incentive for them to continue really. But that's um, going to see the ongoing results anyway, yeah, aren't they? Absolutely. I suppose the two the two have to go together. The clinical yeah. and the commercial have to meet yeah. together. So, and, and as well, from a results point of view, I mean, look, you, you can't stop the aging process. You know, we age every single day. So you really need to do something to stay on top of it, which is why, obviously, if you come up with a package where you can have the Dermalux continuously, be it through a rental model with the Flex or coming in for a clinical treatment with, um, obviously, the TriWave MD, you're going to get long long-lasting results for your clients um, and I suppose the biggest compliment from a client's point of view is you know you're looking really good what have you been doing um, and it's about having that that good skin health you know that's that's what people are looking for and I think yeah. we'll cover that a bit more in in next week's when we've got our aesthetic doctor and how, how we do that yeah, um, yeah next week's about results so definitely yeah. to watch. <laughs> there is um there's a few questions that i think are quite relevant so um like sort of things like introductory offers i suppose look coming out of covid when we and you know when we're open again fully um you know and doing some you know it, offers to try and get people back in you know maybe they're a bit nervous so it's nice we've got that you know the um the no contact treatment as well but sort of what kind of offer so like an offer with skincare or sort of okay, what so um what what we do as a clinic so we do the price the way we price dermalux within the clinic so we do a package of 10 is 400 pound i always say so it's 40 pound per session and um, when you obviously on a package of 10 when we do like a pay as you go service it's 50 pound so what I actually do for my introductory offer, and this is how I got over kind of 100 people within the first couple of weeks, promoted it on Facebook, um, I half priced that treatment. So I literally did it for £25 and people go for that. No contact results. What more really could you want these days? So don't be scared to essentially lose money on, on the very first visit. You know, view that as kind of like, you know, even if you break even or even if you lose money for that first treatment, it's fine. And um, because you're, you're planning on making that client a long term client, you know, they're going to be coming back, spending repeat money with you on a, on a, on a regular basis. So, yeah, I, I path price it. Um, and like I say, it's, it's £25. Who, who won't spend £25 and get an instant result? I mean, especially lying under the triwave, your skin instantly feels tighter, you know, more hydrated, fresher after just one treatment. So when they see the results after one treatment, they then book in for their next treatment um, after that. So I think we'll all need a bit of that, actually. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'll lie in it in my spare time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank goodness, thank goodness for you know the at least, at least having the at-home rental you yeah. know with the flex as well as has really helped with that totally. um yeah so um so yeah integrating it i'm just having a look to see if there's any more questions about um sort of using product so in terms of your protocol then for the treatment so let's say it's standalone somebody comes in what sort of what is your basic sort of protocol for a standalone session um with the with the tri wave do you yes, mean yes yeah, sorry yeah so yeah what, do you yeah. clean the skin do you put any yeah. products on the skin at yes, all yeah, or? Yeah. so um what we do so uh, as a clinic we use um Illumier md phenomenal skincare really really great results so we use that in, in in clinic so the protocol will be cleanse the skin we actually use hot mitts because it's quite nice people like that element of luxury as well feel you know that self-care is a big thing these days so we'll cleanse the skin and uh, make sure the skin's obviously dry after we've cleansed it that then we'll apply the tri wave md so we'll obviously pick the the relevant setting for that person's skin then afterwards we will use we'll apply an Illumier md eye cream then we'll put them um, the Illumier md ultimate boost and then we'll put an spf on and uh, so in terms of the reason why you should do that, well, many reasons, it feels like someone's having a proper in-clinic treatment. Um, it's quite relaxing and there's the luxury element to it as well. So bearing in mind, that's what you can do. And then obviously you can rent your flex on the side, which people yeah. probably won't do that themselves at home. Um, but also it's a great way to integrate retail into, into that, that treatment. 
because you know it, it's the type of treatment where you don't necessarily have to put anything on the skin but just to add value to that service um, and to differentiate yourself from competitors um, that that's why we do it kind of that way and your retail sales really increase because it, even if you're putting an SPF on I mean everybody knows you need an SPF there's no point you improving your skin if you're not wearing an SPF um, so even if you can retail that person an SPF you'll know yourself that you're doing something to help them and get them great results because they're protecting their skin every day. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, there's no point in um, walking outside and doing all, yeah, all the, all the good things that we're doing in the clinic. Yeah. But um, so in, in terms of putting a product on, I know this is a question there. So you don't put any product on before the light. Yeah, because um, I, I know there are options of serums. Sometimes, like depending on what ingredients are in that product. Yes. But you really need to know your ingredients in the skincare that you're using in the clinic. Um, I don't recommend it. The reason being is sometimes you don't have time and you don't know every single ingredient that's in that product. So I, that's, I don't recommend to do that. And it, it probably is safe to do that. I just I, I don't personally do that just because I wouldn't want to add any unknown risk to the treatment. And as well, the products that most of us use in clinic are extremely active. Um, and if that person's never used active products before, it's the process of elimination. You don't know, God forbid, if there was a reaction or something, you don't know what caused that. Whereas if you're just putting the light on, you, there's very, very small um, risk of, of a reaction because who's, who's really allergic to the light? No, no, no. It's, no. Uh, no and obviously you've gone through the consultation with them anyway. Yeah. But yeah. no, I mean, we, we do say you know things like hyaluronic acid something that's water-based but it, it's a it's a real sort of option for people so yes it, it it does very much depend on the skincare um line that you're using yeah. and what what yeah. what options are available within that but yeah. i mean we would always say on more inflammatory conditions anyway no just a cleanse the skin under the light because yeah you, let's say you don't want to do anything that could potentially irritate that client's skin at that time so um someone's just asked about putting a glycolic or enzyme mask before the treatment so um, do you, but you do, do you said you do your peels and then you do the light or sometimes yeah. you do them the other light way first always light first if i'm right. doing a peel and um, we don't actually use any glycolic um in clinic and um, just alumia doesn't doesn't have it um but we use salicylic and lactic acid and we'll always always do the light before the peel always um, I know obviously that Dermalux's protocol is to do it as the last thing within in the treatment, which is fine for most things. Um, but just for, for peels, you do it before, definitely. Again, it depends on the brands. You know, our, our policy is really, you know, yes, it's it's you're using it then to sort of help with the post treatment. But it, it depends on the activation of that, yeah. that particular brand or if, if you're not neutralizing it, for example, then, yeah. of course, we wouldn't yeah. recommend it. No, yeah, it depends entirely on the product that you've got because I know obviously some peel protocols make you um, kind of leave products on the skin so you wouldn't want to at that point then you know if you've got vitamin a on the skin you wouldn't want to then put the the dermalux on top of that so just always refer to your specific products protocols and um, most most kind of um well-known medical grade skincare brands will actually have their own pro protocols and um, where they include led into their treatment protocols yeah. um, so just just follow that really yeah, someone's asking here um, about is this applicable to the flex as well? So this is actually so for everybody on here who's got Dermalux, you know, whether it's the flex, the tri-wave, the compact, the tri MD, it's applicable. So because we're using the same wavelength, the treatment is exactly the same. It's just obviously different. It's the different powers through the devices. So it's that will just impact on the number of sessions. But no, I mean, we know the flex is a fantastic device, so we're not going to. You know, oh, yeah, it's, it's just great. about it's, it's more about treatment time. So just to confirm. Um, like with our triwave compact md we've got a 20 minute session time and then a 10 minute combination so do you use the 10 minute post treatment yeah. sometimes after certain so when would you apply it afterwards if you'd like so you're doing laser would you apply the yeah um yeah. certain lasers so if we're doing like an nd yag like skin rejuvenation treatment we'll do it afterwards certain laser treatment you you don't want that heat on the skin so we'll kind of leave it off or we'll do it before again it just really comes down to an individual kind of treatment protocol microneedling we'll do it after um for 10 minutes before obviously um well the holes within the skin close up so we want to do it then then we'll ap apply a serum after the 10 minutes um, again, it varies. Each treatment's got its own protocol with when, where you place it and how, how long you leave it on the skin for. 
Right. Okay. So, in terms of treatments in the clinic, I know you've got you know got a lot of different treatments on your you know, to offer. Um, but what what is the most sort of popular treatments that you offer them? Um, skin tightening treatments. Um, we do a lot of RF. We do a lot of microneedling. Um, they're probably the most popular type of treatments. If we're treating a skin condition like acne or rosacea, we'll always go with peels and LED um, as like our go-to. But probably skin tightening, non-invasive skin tightening has, has become pretty big recently. And the Dermalux slots really nicely into that because obviously the red light is stimulating collagen production, yeah. um, which, which is great. That in conjunction with RF work fantastically well um, for a really, really good instant result and a long lasting result as well. So you're doing, you're doing more ablative treatments as well. You're doing CO. We don't do CO2. No, oh, we don't do, yeah, no, we don't do any um, real ablative treatments because, well, I mean, the, look, they've, they've got their place. Um, from experience, we've achieved great results without having to ablate the skin that much. Sometimes if you ablate the skin too much, it can actually cause quite a lot of damage to the skin, which obviously you don't necessarily need all the time. You know, I, I've had I've had clients come to me who have had like obagi blue peels and it's taken like their tattooed eyebrows off and whatnot because their skin wasn't prepped beforehand. That, you know, that that that's fundamental what you need to do. So you need to really, really prep the skin before really you, you look at doing any real resurfacing treatments. Because yeah. um, the last thing you want to do is cause more harm than, than obviously good to the skin. So um, prepping the skin with LED and with skincare is what you really should be doing for about four to six weeks before you go in and, and do a, a, a peel or anything like that. Yeah. But I think, again, coming out of lockdown, it'd be interesting to see if it's people just want more of the, yeah. you know, we've been locked up for that long. We don't really want more downtime where we've got to stay. Now, in the yeah, again. but now is a great time to, to start that, you yes. know, now, now get, get, do your virtual prepping. consultations, yes. get your people on the skincare, rent your flex out, you know, prep that person's skin. We've got five weeks. What was it like five weeks to go or something yeah. till the 12th of April? Oh, good idea. Yes, absolutely. And then they're ready to come in. That now. Yeah, and then book them in for a series of treatments. You know, that, that that's pretty much the best thing to do. I mean, I go through like, a lot of inquiries a week and I'm getting these people started on skincare Um, obviously my flex is rented out with them but get them started on skincare get them booked in for their first session Um, and it's something for them to look forward to as well I mean this lockdown's been mental it's probably been the hardest one we've we've all been through so we need something to look forward to so yeah I would definitely advise you to start doing that. So have you still been promoting obviously through you know through this time yeah. just, we're looking forward now obviously to opening hopefully in yeah. April so fingers crossed yeah. nothing changes um yes uh, been advertising and um, been promoting our inquiries um where we get a lot of different inquiries and quite often the, the inquiries which we're getting at the minute is obviously people doing these types of, of virtual meetings and virtual calls and they're looking at themselves a lot more you know we're not used to I mean you've probably all read about obviously zoom face and whatnot but we're not used to to see our reflection um, and it's, it's we're getting a lot of inquiries of people who are looking tired dull um, and I think to be honest the lockdown's really taken a toll on people yeah. um, so you know I, I think there'll be a huge huge demand um, well from the 12th of April people will be rushing in to have result driven treatments yeah, if it's the first thing we could do. Um, yeah. Someone just asked a question about the flex about, yeah, so it's, again, you know, sort of a starting point. And I think it's, the, the nice point is that we've got a choice. We've got a range of products. So depending on people's circumstances and situations, obviously you're a bit, how many, um, how many um, people have you got working with you? How many? A team of 10. Yeah, um, we're a big yeah. Clinic. yeah. Well, um, we, we are we've got a lot of space which we're fortunate to have but to be perfectly honest look if I was starting out you know like four years ago when I started I mean you would probably want a body device and you would want a face device you know if you had to pick a body device probably go down the route of RF mm -hmm. but if you had to pick a face device definitely go with LED the reason being is because you literally can treat every single skin condition why would you not do that? It allows you to open the doors to so many things. So if you're just starting out, LED is a great entry point and the flex is fantastic, you know. Um, I'm fortunate that we've got the tri-wave, but we've also got the flex and the flex on its own delivers such a great result. Um, you need to leave it on a bit longer, you know. So instead of a 30 minute appointment slot, you know, you'd maybe be a 45 minute appointment slot. But still, you can achieve fantastic results with the flex and it's a great entry point device. Really, really good.
Yeah, so you and then obviously you can build them up to the yeah to the the more powerful treatments yeah. as well. Yeah, so I think for anybody starting out, yeah, absolutely, the flex is a great treatment. You know, and we've got a good upgrade program as well. So you know, fast forward once you know you've got your client base for LED, and like you said, I think it's it allows you to start promoting because it's a medical device. We can promote more medical treatments. You know, the, your acne, your psoriasis, your your more problematic conditions as well. Yeah. Um, so you, you're bringing a different kind of clientele through the door. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we talked about. So, let's have a look at some of the other questions that we've um, that we've got. Um, How would you sell an in clinic tri wave treatment with a client who's been renting the flex at home? Okay. Well, um, the power output um, is is a is a big point of you know discussion for them. Um, and also how I said about treatment protocols, about how we use the tri-wave, make it more of a luxury experience. If you can make it more of a luxury experience, they're psychologically thinking, obviously, that they've got value for money. And, um, you know, if you're applying nice serums to the skin, you can even upgrade it and do, you know, like, a, I don't know, like a, a massage, like a hand massage or something if, if you're beauty trained. Um, so you can really, really tweak it. Um, to make it make it that they are having value for money and you know if someone's if someone's got a flex at home they might not be using it every day they might not have the time to use it every day you know they might have kids work etc cetera, etc cetera. it's quite stressful at home um so you know and talk about the benefits the fact how much power it's got you know the fan usage etc cetera, etc cetera. talk about all the benefits that it has um yeah really it's yeah and I think it is about that experience so I would say you know from our side you know people are actually just quite like to, you know they're coming because you're you're providing them with a solution which isn't just about one thing it's about a whole program and it's how that slots in but they just like that you know you're that that being looked after that personal care yeah. which obviously you know using them you know they're using products at home and then you know they can use the light therapy at home as well yeah. but yeah it's that that overall experience but yeah power definitely and I um, think as well um what was I going to say so even so our treatment room so everything about the clinic is is it's an experience from obviously when you first enter through the door it's about the music that's on the ambience etc cetera, etc cetera. all these things are really difficult to replicate at home you know especially if you've got kids and um, you've just finished work and now the home is literally our work and our our house where we relax so if you're able to create an environment in your clinic or your salon or whatever where someone comes in and automatically they are relaxed why would they not want to come in for that especially with all the stress that's been going on in the last 12 months. So I, you know, I play what I call Dubai music. So it's kind of like the music that you would expect at like a beach club. So that's the type of music that I play in the clinic. Um, and obviously when you're lying under the tri-wave, you literally feel like you're on holiday, which is pretty good. Um, yes, yeah, so no, no, it's, um, it's, the, it's the feel good factor as well. Okay. But yeah, so, you know, the flex, you know, for people who have, you know, um, uh, the luxury to have both devices, yeah, it was never about taking it away. And I think, you know, this, this flex rental only came about because, you know, because of COVID, you know, and it was just, you know, looking at what could we do to to support and help our clients at home where, you know, we just couldn't give them any access into the clinic and the treatments had to stop. So it'll just offer more than products alone um but yeah not to take that experience away and i think like you said you know the flex is a is an everyday use device as well whereas you know they're coming in and boosting it and um, we are doing a case study at the moment and hopefully maybe next week i'll be able to give you a bit of an update on that but it was just somebody that we wanted to help um i'm not sure if they're on at the moment but um it was quite interesting that we were able to do um a try with md treatment for them to give the skin that boost but then they're using the flex at home as well so they're actually using both together so it's yeah. not to take away one or the other, but actually delivering more energy will just will will almost give a, a a result that you wouldn't even get with something lower power, you know, either. So it's not about the speed of the results. It's actually just about the actual um, the quality of the end result as well or the success of the end result. So absolutely, yeah, we did have um, we had just a point which I think was quite interesting when we were actually developing the trial with MD and uh, one of our medical advisors that was trialing it, who was a big laser user and um you know had a lot of experience with phototherapy and and lasers but actually said and um, we've got some
interesting results to show this that the um, the uh, when using it on pigmentation and also um, with vascular that some of the results were comparable to IPL. Obviously, yeah. you know, it takes a bit longer, but there's no downtime. It's safe on particularly on when we're treating darker skins. But we're at that level. You know, this is it's it's, it's a different level of treatment now than just you know the just the traditional LED um, sort of treatments that we're probably used to. So it's a step up, really. You know, it, it's it's put it's putting your clinic in that category where I am serious about the type of results and um, so it's it's something kind of um you can do it you're quite right obviously start with a flex get the clientele for the flex and then you know how much you obviously clients love when you um, bring new things into the clinic because they know that you're really up to date you're up to speed and clients are really switched on these days they know what's available so you know it's, it's a good entry point for sure but think you know of how how much better obviously you can get the results in a shorter space of time with yeah. with the triwave yeah and people want results quickly don't we i think we're in that busy lifestyle now that you know we don't want we don't necessarily want the the downtime now um you know we we don't want you know we want the results fast and you know and the pain free i think that's a big point as well you know it's you know we're delivering pain free results um exactly. the and so and exactly. um, someone's asked about migraines about could some someone someone sometimes get migraines for the treatment well, it shouldn't trigger a headache if somebody we we actually put that on the con consultation form so um the, about light induced headaches but there isn't really any evidence but of course if people are prone to migraines or headaches that are light triggered then it is a point just to to make yeah. them it wouldn't stop them having it but you could make them aware that there is a possibility that it might trigger that as well yeah. so and um, there's a question if you were to do microneedling and led on the same day which one would you do first so you do the microneedling first and then you would do um like your 10 minutes post treatment following on from the microneedling um just one point on this actually which it comes up a lot with us that you know sometimes um the manufacturers of the microneedling that we're not here to tell a manufacturer of microneedling about their protocol or, or what to use you know we're just looking at combination treatments and it's from our experience and our research that we've done um but you know the idea that you know as if you think about treatments in a clinic a lot of them are triggering um, an inflammatory response because that's how it works we, we create we create trauma the wound healing response the collagen etc so with with microneedling of course we're triggering that and people have this thinking that led is about stopping that response or it's anti-inflammatory um but it isn't it, we you know once we've triggered that we can't stop it all we can do is we can modulate it which is where photobiomodulation comes yeah. from but we can control that to make sure it doesn't go out of control so that actually we're just speeding up like you said at the beginning yeah. We're speeding up the healing, we're speeding up the results. So we can't stop inflammation. It's good, but it's not that good. Um, but we can actually, you know, speed it up to make it better. So yes, we would always have a protocol where we would use it yeah. afterwards. But, but you are quite right. Some manufacturers say don't put anything on the skin afterwards. But think about it logically, what, what you're doing, you know, think about the science behind it and then just use that then to make an educated decision about why you should be using it post microneedling. We've had... You know hundreds and thousands of you know results and great feedback of using them together but ultimately it's down to the clinics you know it's about yeah. choice isn't it you know the nice thing is if you have the right tools you have the options and you can you know you can create those protocols together yeah. but as we're talking about today it's about best practice and, and yeah. what works and uh, you're definitely an authority from that point of view and um, um interesting actually so have you had any psoriasis we're going to be talking about results next week but we will just touch mm -hmm. on this um you know do you have you seen clients with psoriasis do you get them yeah. um not i mean i don't treat specifically for psoriasis however i do have a few clients who i'm treating let's say for anti-aging um, and they also have psoriasis so it's kind of like been like a byproduct of the the treatment outcome but yes i have had very successful results with treating psoriasis to be perfectly honest with the dermalux they notice a really great improvement especially this time of year when it's a bit colder psoriasis can flare up um but i don't treat it on its own i probably should um i just don't advertise it on its own but if i've got someone with um, another skin condition and they so happen to have psoriasis then of course i can target both at yeah. the same time with the dermalux and they see they do see really good results 
but you know if you have the device again it's just another avenue that or another treatment option that we can start to promote we actually touched on it in our last webinar where we were looking at you know maybe people aren't aware that you know you know the led can you know we should be promoting more about all the different you know in one device we can treat such a wide range of skin indications and conditions that you know we should re really be telling people about this and i think you know coming you know there's a lot of stress and you know sort of problem skins that like we said coming out mask knee all these yeah. kind of conditions that we're probably going to see more and more now you know through this sort of this, this period so you know definitely it's nice to promote something a little bit different and yeah. show that 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 variety That's a great idea i'll um i'll work on that i'll start, I'll start advertising yeah. that yeah. so uh, but i think you know the question that we was we were sort of focused around is about integration you know and actually looking at this as a um an integral part of anybody's client journey so we know it's safe we know that you know 99 percent of people can have led very very you know very safely and, and very effectively um but it's actually bringing that in and I, you know i think you said you know you bring it in right at the beginning and i think that's important not thinking it, it's just an add-on treatment especially when you've got the higher power devices it's yeah. It's, it's bringing that in right at the start. And do you think that's why it's been so successful for you? Probably because I've made it kind of, you know, a, a primary focus of the business. Um, you know, we don't do anything without LED. So I, I do think that it, and it separates you as a business from other businesses that are maybe just doing one thing. Um, you know, it allows you really to, to get safer results, quicker results. And we're a result driven industry, you know, that, that you know, it's a busy industry. We want the results for people. So just think of protocols that you've got or, you know, how you can tweak them to really integrate LED. You know, don't, don't view it as kind of like oh i've paid x amount for the device i need to recover that money straight away view it as obviously a fact that you can integrate that into every single treatment protocol you can charge more as well um, and you're going to make your money back as well and um, because obviously you're going to achieve fantastic results then people are going to tell their friends people etc cetera, etc cetera. And, and then word of mouth will will really build that up and I think, you know, again, when, you know, talking to sort of different clinics, especially, you know, people who are looking to introduce this service and, you know, we get a lot of, oh, it's, you know, LED is an add-on. And I think it's been, it's been given this um, sort of badge, let's say, because, of lower power maybe devices in the market that are not able to deliver the, the results you know if you if if the device can't deliver standalone results then it's only ever going to be an add-on we're never going to be able to promote it as a yep. standalone treatment um but with demolits we shouldn't be you know for everybody that's invested we shouldn't be undervaluing the treatment you know we should be this is powerful standalone results and i think it can command those yeah. price tags but you know equally um, i know we've, we've got a commercial part three commercial um you know but actually looking at how profitable it is and you know i think we, we sometimes forget that so we are going to be talking about that more in detail in in part three so not to, not to miss that one either <laughs> exactly. um using with rf would you use led before or after so i i use it after after rf um, obviously, um, depending on your protocol as well. If you're just doing RF, um, check what serums you're putting on as well. Um, my, my protocol, if I'm doing, um, I've got the Oxygeneo in the clinic. Um, I don't know if anyone else has, but um, they've got Oxypod. So the brightening Oxypod um, has got kojic acid in, which is obviously photosensitive. So don't use that. Um, swap it round. But if you're just doing standalone RF, do the LED afterwards. So most of our, pro well, actually all of our protocols we would recommend to use at the end, um, only because LED is going to stimulate the skin. So you just have to be, you know, it might intensify the results of the second yeah. treatment. But in any case, it's it's not going to be harmful. It's just more of, you know, thinking about when you're doing a combination of treatments, you know, even if you're doing it, you know, maybe three different treatments together, you might exfoliate, you might do RF. And it's just it's just the nice relaxing part at the end. But it doesn't, I love it. It doesn't yeah. mean that you couldn't do it before the only thing that there was i saw the question again about um using it with peels but yeah you just have to be a little bit careful about maybe like you yeah. said about because of the product ingredients yeah, just and double then, check. yes and then activating those with the light so yeah it can yeah it depends on the brand of course yeah the well this is a good question um from rachel she sent it to me directly so you maybe uh, um, uh, can you use this successfully on mature ladies who are afraid of invasive stuff 60 to 70s with wrinkles absolutely um i would put them on the either the rejuvenation setting which is obviously red and near infrared or i would just go tri wave tri wave to be perfectly honest is my personal favorite setting 
because obviously you're getting every every single wavelength in there um, and you can use it really successfully just obviously manage manage your patients and um, expectations that they're not going to see um, amazing results after just one or two sessions so definitely you want to get them on multiple sessions and you want to explain that the benefits obviously continue and um, the more you have of the treatment but certainly I mean you'll get really great results because if you think you're, you're boosting their cell turnover as well within their skin you know it's likely that there's a big buildup of dead skin cells on that skin surface so if you're doing something to boost that their, their skin will look healthier and as well blue light um is really great for the brain as well am i right in saying like mood boosting as well yes. yeah yeah so, the happy lights yeah exactly so, so when you get to that age as well you want something you know really to, to stimulate yourself yeah. um i don't know what their personal the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah no, the energy the energizing effect definitely and you know we know that as uh, as our cells age yeah you know, unfortunately like the atp production is is reduced as well so we're using you know we, light is an energy treatment so if we're energizing our, we always use the um the phone analogy so we think about our cells i've got a battery the mitochondria and um, which produce the energy so our, our mobile phone has got a battery on it when it when the phone battery runs out we plug the phone in and we recharge it so we need to be recharging our cell batteries all the time to to ensure that you know our they, our skin will continue to function so yeah this is something that we can use and, and promote so all i think that's a nice thing it's all ages and for maybe um older clients that don't want anything more invasive then it's it's either that great stepping stone or it's just something that they're going to be happy with um, yeah they'll love it as well yeah. and it's just going to give better results just yeah. in a, you know a regular facial that they might be used to as well so uh, very true yeah it's giving, it's, i think it's just nice to have options isn't it and, and give yeah. people a choice so you yeah you you definitely got that um goodness me we've had a lot of questions yeah. in and i know we haven't been able to answer yeah, them all <laughs> Um, we will um, look through them. I know I think we're running a little bit short on time now, so we will continue to, uh, to have a look through all the, all the um, questions that have come through. If there's anything that we've missed um, or if you've got any further questions, then um, you can still email us to info at um, the, um This um, webinar has been recorded as well, so it should be available from tomorrow. So we'll post that out and to everybody that's, um, that's joined today, we'll send out a thank you email and we'll send you the link so you can watch it again. Um, so just have to say that so um episode two um is at the same time next week so it's thursday 11th of march at 4 p.m so we're going to be joined by vanessa again and also by dr ab so dr abs is your um, aesthetic, aesthetic doctor, doctor. Yeah. Um, and he he deals with a lot. Does he look at more of the problem conditions or yeah, yeah. mixture of both? He does yeah. um, a lot, and we'll be mainly focusing on aging and how we incorporate into injectable practice, um, as well as just general kind of skin health. Yeah, um, but certainly problem conditions as well. We we cover them as well. And protocols. I think we said yeah. we're going to touch on sort of protocols for problem skins, and hopefully to share some success stories too. Yeah. So, uh, um, so the registration for um, the the next webinar is going to be open from tomorrow um so watch out for that and then obviously book your place on but um i just want to finish by saying thank you very much vanessa it's been fascinating talking to you you know lots to think about hopefully for everyone watching it's been beneficial and you know you know made the made the brain think yeah, about exactly. it. But, um, and thank you for everyone who's taken the time to come on as well so i hope it's been beneficial but um okay so well thank you again and uh we'll look see next, to week. next week yeah, right, have a lovely take evening care, everyone. everyone take care thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.